The Wayne Art Center is very pleased to be able to have this opportunity to exhibit the nude figure through two exhibitions. One, the nude figure, and the second exhibition is Nude Mirror of Desire. Both of these exhibitions are a way to educate our community about the importance of figure in the history of art. Certainly uh, a lot of artists that uh, are into the nude form, which um, I think for art is where a lot, maybe a lot of it starts. Because if you see the human form is beautiful, then everything else follows from that. I like the realism on some of them and the abstract on others is interesting as well. I have a, a piece here in the show called Drift and um, it was a premier coup which is basically a uh, one-shot painting some people will call it an a la prima. It was a, a piece that we had at the um, Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts where I went to school for my MFA and so we did a Sunday session that um, Scott Noel actually ran and so we did a painting for for a one-shot painting and and the award that I won was a um, an award for the premier coupe which is fantastic my piece in the show is nude in the woodland stream and it's just a painting about uh, the beauty of light and nature uh, with incorporation of a figure I have been doing three-dimensional work in the round for a number of years and I wanted to work more narratively, more pictorially, so I started reliefs. And I wanted to do them though with a twist in that they're inside in a contemporary setting. And Antigone and Throne comes out of that group of uh, photographs that I took of models in my house and then made reliefs from those photographs. Well I think it's important to come back to what was in ancient times a very open art form, the human body. Men, male, female, uh, the Greeks, the Romans, they worshipped and adored it and it's been oppressed and suppressed and uh, galleries and even museums are often not bringing out shows for, with nudity. Um, so both galleries here at the Wayne Art Center are filled with nudity, painting, sculpture, uh, mixed media, and I just think we need to re-respect the human body instead of objectifying it, to go back to see it as a work of art. I think it's fantastic. I think there's so much talent and so many, um, such a, a, an interesting range of work. And really it was inspired by a drawing that I had seen that Martha Erlbacher had done a few years back where she had done this very delicate and very accurate drawing, figure drawing, on watercolor paper. I have a piece in the show called uh, The Art Studio and it was a piece that uh, was generated by uh, my interest in the, in the form of the, of, the, of the human body and also how uh, those, the shapes and stuff generated by that and, and its surroundings, uh, how, how that all turns out. I'm actually a model for one of the paintings here. Uh, the painting is done by the Thomas uh, Del Porte. Mostly I focus on capturing the figure. Um, a artist once told me when I was very young that uh, if you can capture the figure you can do just about anything and so that sort of stuck with me through the years and so everything I do is portraits and figures and that sort of thing. So. Well, the show has been uh, more than Paul and I could have hoped. It's uh, been a fantastic turnout of people from all different tribes of, of figure painting practice from people that were working with the figure alone or through art centers, to professors and teachers at art schools, to some of the most uh, celebrated professionals working today. Bo Bartlett is here, uh, and I was just talking with him about his teacher, Ben Kamihira. In the sense of, of deep sort of celebration of, of, I think, painting the figure as a valuable and an important thing to do is has been confirmed by the excitement of the people coming to the show. But even more than that, I think a whole bunch of new recognitions have emerged out of the show, partly stimulated by the, the beauty, especially of Kamihira's work, which gets us thinking that the nude is a kind of perennial and inexhaustible subject in art, and all that's required to have a kind of communion with that subject is a, a, an openness to one's own sensuality, one's own recognition of beauty in the world. Uh, so I'm incredibly gratified by the way this has played out 
and I'm suspecting that it could have only happened in a place like the Wayne Art Center because some of this uninhibited embrace of the figure has a very hard time in the official culture. So it's been real exciting. You know, it was great to see Ben Kamahiro's paintings in the context of their work. Just the tradition that gets passed down. You know, Ben studied with Stumpfig, who studied with someone who studied with Aiken. So there's been Aiken studied with, you know, the, the French, and it, the tradition goes all the way back to Michelangelo. So it's, it's great to see this continuum of, uh, of work and, and how, one, how it slowly evolves over the generations. This painting is entitled Brooklyn, and it's a painting of my wife, Betsy, and her friend uh, Alyssa, Alyssa Monks. And um, this is part of a whole series of paintings I did called the Femme Paintings. We're delighted that we had such an amazing crowd here today. We must have had over 300 people in attendance to see both exhibitions and we'd like to welcome all of our community to come see the figure and the nude Mirror of Desire. <laughs>